Now, your news on the go. Now to breaking news out of Philadelphia. Three people are dead and more than a dozen others injured following a mass shooting overnight. This happened right around midnight in South Philadelphia, where police say there were, quote, several active shooters. When officers did arrive on the scene, they say they saw a man open fire into a large crowd of people. Police say 14 people were shot and at least seven of those were taken to the hospital with injuries. Two guns were found at the scene. No arrests have been made yet. There's been pressure on state legislators to make schools safer following the latest string of mass shootings across the U.S. In response, the New York State Assembly now passing Alyssa's law. This law requires school districts to consider installing panic alarm systems. The hope is to silently alert police if there was to be a life-threatening or emergency situation within a school. Let me be great. That's the mission Syracuse Common Counselor Rashida Caldwell is spreading to honor her son. Five years ago, Rashid Baker was shot and killed in front of his own Syracuse home. And years later, still no arrests have been made. Well, today, Caldwell is hosting a Let Me Be Great Community Day at Berry Park on Meadowbrook Drive. There's going to be free food, festivities, as well as a three-on-three -three basketball tournament. Right now it is 755. Jim, how's it look for that community day event? It looks great. We've got a good deal of sunshine. This is a view from our uh, Skynet 9 view um, just east of Baldwinsville. Actually good enough to do some uh, blowing, mowing of the lawn. There's someone out. It's before 8 o'clock. It seems a little early for that, I would think. Here's the day planner. We've got uh, sunshine. Increasing clouds later in the day. 73 degrees. Less wind as well. Your forecast for tonight. Not as cool with the cloud cover. Slight chance of a shower. We're down around 55 degrees. Tomorrow, sun and clouds. 81 degrees. Maybe a shower late in the day. But I think a better chance will be on Tuesday as a cold front comes through. Temperatures will be around 80, uh, 72 on Tuesday. Wednesday, sun and clouds, drier weather. Showers Wednesday night into Thursday. And uh, beyond that, still a little bit unsettled for Friday and Saturday. Temperatures a little bit cool. Temperatures will likely be in the low 70s both Friday and for Saturday. Nothing too crazy, though, for tomorrow. No, no. I think, uh, you know, again, late in the day, it's a shower, a thunderstorm. Nothing severe expected. All right. Good news. Yep. Thanks, Jim. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. For news or weather anytime, be sure to download the News Channel 9 app. Our next update is at 827. Good Morning America's next. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.